Good day, mga ka Enfish Review Hub. Welcome to another exciting edition of our review. I'm Hermes P. Vargas from Devon Angeles City, joining you today for another discussion. Allow me to share my presentation, everyone. Here we go. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Sana masaya kayo. Ayan. Okay, ito na po tayo. Ayan. We're now here on Domains 3 and 4 for the Philippine Professional Standards for Cool Heads. Let us see what is installed for us today. Reminders will be the first one. We shall also have a recap of what we had last time. A review proper of Domains 3 and 4. Ayan. Let's continue. Reminders po natin. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel sa mga hindi po nagsasubscribe. At sa mga nagsubscribe, no, maraming maraming salamat po. Expect na mag-upload po ako ng maraming videos about education para mapag-usapan po natin, mapag-issues po ng ideas, or even benchmarks about isa po. Ayan. Okay? Again, our YouTube review is totally free, but if you wish to voluntary and really send your token of appreciation, of course, I would accept that, no? Ganun. And this my GCash number, 0927. 585-7144. Right now, I'm accepting, accepting a review for group 10 to 15 persons. Po, maximum na po yung 15. Uh, we have a minimal fee po, but of course, I will be providing you, you with the materials and I'm also revising that right now. At, uh, syempre, you can choose kung whole day or half day. Nasa inyo na po yan. Mabag-uusapan po natin yan. Okay? Let's continue po. Let's have a recap of what we had last time. We defined the following terms, domains, strand, indicator, and current stages. Sabi natin, pag domain, broad conceptual sphere ng, ng leadership, ng isang school head. Sabi natin, pag strand, it's under domain. It is a more specific dimension of practice under a domain. Where indicator is a measurable, observable, and concrete practice ng school leader. While career stages, may apat po yun, no? stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Sabi natin, these are description of practices ng isang school head. And of course, last time we talked about domains one and two. Domain one, leading strategically, it focuses on the role of the school head in setting the objectives, the goals, the directions of the school. At the same time, this must be embraced by all the stakeholders in the school. In addition to that, dapat clear kay school head ano ang current state ng kanyang school and where does or she intend to bring the school in the future. Domain 2, on the other hand, managing school operation resources talk about or emphasize about the role of the school head in effectively and efficiently managing school operation and resources. And those school resources would be financial, human, and even material. Ayan. So, diretsyo na po tayo mga kapatid. Again, I would show you the framework of the Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. Ito po ang school effectiveness. Nakikita nyo rito yung kulay blue. Domain 1, Domain 2. Ito po tayo ngayon, Domain 3 and Domain 4. At yung Domain 5 po, next time po yan. And the, these two po are parts of people effectiveness. And of course, at the heart, will be holistically developed Filipino learners. Saying that in a, in a short version, I mean to say, kailangan tagniyan. School is effective. People are effective in the school and you would be able to produce a holistically developed Filipino learners. Let's continue. Here is domain three, focusing on teaching and learning, a very, very important domain because here, pasok na pasok na ang instructional leadership. The school head's outlook is yung instructional leadership. He must, she must see to it that instructional competence ay makikita sa kanyang mga teachers. Let's see the strands. 3.1, school-based review, contextualization, implementation of learning standards. 3.2, teaching standards and pedagogies. 3.3, teacher performance feedback. 3.4, learner achievement and other performance indicators. 3.5, learner assessment. 3.6, learning environment. 3.7, career awareness and opportunities. 3.8, learner discipline. Okay, let's have the first strand. 3.1, school-based review, contextualization, and implementation of learning standards. As a school head, principal, or leader, check mo. Check natin. Kung na-implement yung learning standards, nakasunod ba tayo sa curriculum guide? Na papatupad ba natin? Nakaangkla ba ang mga teachers? At panaguturo sila doon sa mga tinatawal nating learning competencies? Do we contextualize the lessons? Do we localize the lessons? Ginagawa po ba natin yun as school heads? Titingnan natin ngayon. Remember, kapag nag-contextualize ka at kung localize ka, mas madali ang learning. Bakit ka mo? 
again, tayo po mga medyo adults na, if there is a movie or a song which are nakaka-relate tayo, mas madali natin madam, ma- maramdaman, mas tumatago sa atin. Parang kung nagigipag-usap ka, kapag gumagamit ka ng wikang malapit sa iyo, mas nauunawaan mo. Hindi po ba? Tama? At pag may mga karanasan ang tao na malapit din sa iyo at nakakarit ka, andali-daling, andali-daling intindihin. Like which in a school-based set, in a school setup, when we contextualize, localize, and implement this, mas walang matuto ang mga, ang mga learners natin. Okay? Tinan yung career stage, si sabi niya, work with teams in conduct of review, contextualization, and implementation of learning standards to assist teachers in making the curriculum relevant for learners. You make the curriculum re- relevant to our learners kasi pag may gap yan, you have to bridge it. At pag may gap yan, that's the time that our learners will feel aloof or parang hindi ako makarelate sa lesson, hindi, hindi ko makita ang importance or relevance nito. And we have to make um education or our curriculum relevant. That means to say we make it as much possible if I may use the term pragmatic in a way para mas maintindihan at mas mapalabit ang mga learners natin. At sa every point 1.4, share exemplary practice in the review contextualization and implementation of learning standards. Very important po ito. Make sure as school head that the learning standards ay napapatupad natin na sa pamagitan ng ating mga teachers kapag sila ay nasa classroom instruction na. And of course, we have to com- make a constant follow-up and, and review of that. Okay? Strand 3.2, teaching standard and pedagogy is another important strand. Sabi niya dito, demonstrate, and under- demonstrate knowledge and understanding teaching standards and pedagogies. Nakasun ba ang mga teachers natin sa teaching standards and pedagogies? Do we do we even conduct instructional supervision? Nag-o-observe po ba tayo ng mga klase? Pag school heads ka. Ngayon, pag mayroon kong instructional supervisory plan, dami mo instructional supervisory report ka. At pag may nakita kang hindi magandang findings at may recommendation ka, you give technical assistance sa mga teachers natin para mas mag-improve sila at maiakma nila, makaangkla sila doon sa teaching standards na sinasabi natin. Kaya yung mga observation notes natin, yung ating post-conference, they are really important tools. No? Sabi sa career stage, engage school personnel such as master teacher, head teachers, and the department heads in providing technical assistance. Really, really true ito, mga kapatid, na kailangan mag-guide natin ang ating mga teachers doon sa napaka-competitive um, instructional uh, level na meron dapat sila. Tandaan po ninyo, pag nasa education kayo, ang business po natin is instruction. Yan po ang pinakanegosyo natin, ang magturo ng dekalidad, makapagbigay ng dekalidad na edukasyon. Para yung mga learners natin, when they get out and when they leave our school, they are competitive. So that when they join the labor force, when they join the working class, when they join the economy, they would be really be productive and competent at the same time. Okay? Let's continue po. Strand 3.3, teacher performance feedback. Important ang IPCRF. No? Demonstrate understanding of the use of feedback obtained from the learners, parents, and other stakeholders. Importante ang IPCRF natin sa mga, ng mga teachers natin. Kasi may, meron doon sa ang developmental plan doon. Tinitingnan natin kung nagagawa na ba ng mga teachers natin yan. As future school heads kayo po, titingnan niyan pag school head na kayo. Yung teacher performance feedback. Kasi the learners would give you feedback. Okay? You know what? You would hear that. Even parents would give you feedback. Wala pinapadaan sa mga grade level chairpersons or probably sa ating mga department heads. No? Importante na yung mga feedback na yun. Yung na-validate at magagalan mo to improve the teacher perf- the, 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 into teacher performance the next time. Okay? Yung feedback mechanism kasi dapat ginagamit talaga natin yan. Again, ang sinasabi ko po sa inyo sa panahong ito, we just do not give um training or workshop, or webinars na gusto lang natin. They must be data-based. They must be data-driven. Importante, importante po yan. Okay? Sa career stage 4, sabi niya, exhibit exemplary skills in using validated feedback from learners. Napaka-importante niyan. At future school heads who wants to be on career stage 4, you must be able to do that. No? Okay, let's continue po. Katagni ng 3.3 si 3.4. Bakit? Eto. Learn achievement and other performance indicators. Naku, napakadami na ito. Napakadaming performance indicators sa school. Di po ba? Enrollment rate natin, dropout rate, retention rate, repetition rate, promotion rate, graduation rate, completion rate, napakagohort survival, napakadami. They are all reflection of what we are doing in the school as school heads. At syempre, titignan natin learn achievement natin. Importante yan. Yung MPS ng mga sa learning areas natin. No, yung ating achievement rate din po, yung mga grades and learners na inad lahat, binibayad sa number of learners, yun ang achievement, achievement rate. No? Tinitingnan mo ngayon yan para makapagplano ka in the next school year or in the next grading or in the next months kung ano ang gagawin mo. 
Okay? Kaya nga sito po sinasabi ko sa inyo na ang RPMS o PCRF natin mga school heads ay nakakasali sa PPSSH. Kasi pag results-based performance management po, sinasabi dyan, you look at the results that you have right now. What data do you have? For example, you have eight learning areas. Lahat man lang yung mababa ang performance ng, 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 ng school. Probably hindi naman. Probably sa math lang mababa, let's say ang MPS ng math mo ay 35. Let's say ang MPS ng size mo ay 80. Saan ka mag-focus ang training ngayon? Sa science pa rin ba? Hindi na. Sa math na. Kasi yun ang kailangan. Yun ang performance indicator na mababa ang school. So you give your training, your intervention on that particular learning area. Likewise, kung yung is, yung Uh, yung ESAT naman, no? mamaya, ma mas mala naman yung, yung ESAT, yung, mamaya ako na-discuss, yung ESAT results naman. No? Kaya importante rin po talaga yon So, sabi rito, mentor fellow school heads in sustained learner achievement in attaining other performance indicators. That's career stage 4. Okay? So, importante ang learner achievement and other performance indicators. These are, the, these are the hard data ang mga to ha? These are empirical data na talaga pwede magamit ni school head to craft where do you want your school to be? What do you want to do? using those performance indicators, especially if they speak of learner's achievement. No? Okay, let's continue po. Learning assessment, ayan. Ako, importante na naman ito. Lahat importante talaga eh. Learning assessment. Wala nga tayong periodical exam ngayon kasi wala tayong face-to-face. -face. Pero meron ka pa rin portfolio assessment, yung performance output at yung written work ng mga bata. Yung learning assessment, kung ito ang resulta, what do you intend to do? Sabi niya dito, provide technical assistance to teachers in using learning assessment tools, strategies, and utilization of resources consistent with curriculum requirements. That's for stage two. You have the results again. You have the results again. What technical assistance would you provide to your teacher? Mababa sa sa, mabaraing bagsa sa ganitong subject, mabaraing bagsa sa ganitong section, mabababa ang mga grades ng mga bagsa sa ganitong subject, sa ganitong section. What do you intend to do now? Kasi na-assess na yung learning na meron palang gap. You have to bridge the gap now. That's why I'm telling you, importante talaga yung paggamit ng mga yung kanina, yung performance indicators, yung instructional supervisory plan, result. Importante po yun yung, yung SMEA natin. They are all important. These are documents. These are data which would speak for your school. And you have to work hand in hand with your personnel, with your school personnel in using this, this learning assessment tool. Hindi lang ikaw na sa principal ang nakakaalam. Kasi kung ikaw lang, mamamatay ka talaga sa pagod kapatid, napakalaki ng school mo, napakalaki ng school mo, pareho ang trabaho you really have to work out to achieve, to improve, and to, you know, have a very good, perf an outstanding exemplary performance. So learning assessment is under dormitory. It is very important, mga kapatid. Okay? Let's continue. Learning environment. Sabi ko kanina, kanina ang dormitory would focus on the learners and the teachers. And part of the learning, uh, learning teaching um, process or system is the learning environment. Would you imagine kung matututo ka ba sa environment na marumi? Kung may face-to-face, -face, marami ang school mo. May nag-aaway. May bullying. May namamalo. May nagmumura. Hindi. Hindi okay yon. You have to check if your school is a child-friendly, learner-friendly, inclusive, gender-sensitive, no? healthy learning environment. Kahit ngayong pandemic, you have to check it out also. Pag nag-virtual class ka, how is the learning environment in the virtual class? May nagmumura ba mga bata? may nag may nagbibisitan ba mga bata? You have to check that also, no? Meron ba mga nakakapasok na iba doon sa virtual classroom? Dapat kayo lang ng mga teachers, head teachers, master teachers and the school head. So that's part of the learning environment, virtual learning environment nga lang po 'yon. Pero pag nag-face to face na tayo titingnan mo rin ang school ang ang, ang buong school. Baka naman pagpasok pa lang sige, may nakausli ng bato, ha? Ah, may meron namang mga matutalas na bubog doon o may mga mga barbed wire o mga alambre hindi mo napansin tapos nasugatan ang learner dumugo ang kamay nagreklamo ang parent you have to check that that's part of the learning environment makalat ba ang classroom may mga sabog-sabog ba mga libro punit-punit na ba pwede marumi ba that's, of the, that's part of the learning environment and again if you go to career stages 3 and 4 you're empowering the wider community, school community such that everybody embraces that that, that culture no na kailangan, ah, kailangan safe space ito. Kailangan peace zone, ang uh, zone peace ang school. Dapat tinitinan po natin yan, no? That is part of our learning environment, okay? 3.7 po tayo. Ay, importante rin po ito. Sabi ng K-12, ang kanyang career exit, sabi niya, kailangan trabaho, negosyo, kolehiyo. Sabi ng 3.7, career awareness and opportunities. I simply see this as very relevant and important too. 
sabi ng career stage 2, ensure integrated career awareness and opportunities in the provision of learning experiences aligned with the curriculum. Kasi in your high school, nag-OJT ang mga yun, hindi po ba? May immersion sinasabi. Importantly, immersion na yun, kaya mo bakit? Paglabas na ang ating mga learners, not all of them will go to college. But the thing is, I hope they acquire the skill and the competency para kung sakali hindi sila magka-college, they can work. In every dip, if ever po, like, busit sila ng college, siyempre na galing sa school mo, proud ka na magiging professional ang mga yan, nakakapagtrabaho na. Again, if they work, they become productive. No? Nakakatulong sa pamilya, nakakatulong sa ekonomiya, and when they're able to, and when they are productive, and they're able to help in the growth of the economy that would have an impact on the GDP and GNP, you are contributing to nation building. Ayan, no? Hindi lang natin nakikita yan, pero kung titignan mo, ganun yun eh. Na pagkatapos yung mga mag-aaral natin, when, when our learners become professionals like us, when they already work, that's the time that you are already reaping your return of investment na sinasabi as teacher and as principal. Bakit? Because it simply boils down to one. You gave them a very good rudiments foundation when they were in your elementary school, when they were in your junior high school, and they were, they were in your senior high schools. And 3.7 would be a way to attest that. Career awareness in opportunities. You integrate that career, career awareness. Kaya yung homeroom guidance program ng school natin, very important din po yan. Na yung mga teachers natin aware dito yung homeroom guidance program. And of course, if you have a guidance counselor in school, that will help them to understand that track that they want to be if they ever grade 10. Anong pumunta mo sa grade 11? Anong track ang pumuntahan nila? No? Ano ang gusto kong maging? Ginagay po natin ang mga learners natin. And even when they are in grades 11 and 12, what do you want to become? What do, how do you envision yourself 3, 5, 10 years from now? Na magkakalish ka, after mo, ano ang gusto mong mangyari? Anong gusto mong maging? And as educator, as school head, as principal, as leader, kailangan clear din sa atin ito. We see that. Okay? 3.8 learner discipline. Well, hindi may iwasan. May mga batang may ingay, madadaldan, marilikot. Probably nagpapasabay din. Of course, I also started as a classroom teacher. no? So nakita ko rin po lahat ng mga yan at hindi madali yon. But there is a way to handle these things well. Sabi ni Curry Stage 1, demonstrate knowledge and understanding of existing national, local policies related to learner discipline. May child protection policy po tayo. Remember that. And we also have manual on positive discipline. Do we integrate that in the school? Do we have a, a school-based version of that? Meron ba tayong ganoon? Ha? Huh? Kasi importante ang learner discipline. Nakalang we, we adhere to this local and national policy na wala tayong vina-violate na batas. Sabi sa career stage 2, oh, implement learner discipline policies that are developed collaboratively with stakeholders including parents, school, personal, and the community. Importante ito. <coughs> Excuse me. Na kailangan yung mga parents aware ito sa pag-craft ng, kanilang, ng, ating, ng ating school discipline, manal ko meron man po tayo, that they are aware that they were consulted hindi mo lang basa-basa ibabagsak ng ganyan yan. So yung strana na yan, learner discipline has something to do with the learning environment with the teaching learning process. Kasi yung mga learners natin, pag disiplinado yan, alam nila kung anong dapat nilang gawin paano sila mag-aak sa loob ng classroom as responsible learners, makakatulong po yan. At mas mapapadali ang buhay ng mga teachers natin. Thus, in effect, making the life of a school head, a principal, or a school leader easier also. Ayan, let's continue po. Hi! Ito na, domain 4 na po tayo, developing self in others. Naku, marami-rami rin po ito. Isang, isang importanteng aspeto ito. You know, as a school head, you develop yourself and you develop others professionally and personally. You upgrade, you calibrate yourself as future leaders of the schools. 4.1, personal and professional development. 4.2, professional reflection and learning. 4.3, professional networks. 4.4, performance management. 4.5, professional development of school personnel. 4.6, leadership and development in individuals and teams. 4.7, general welfare of human resources. 4.8, rewards recognition mechanism. Let's proceed. Personal and professional development. Sabi niya, conduct self-assessment of personal and professional development needs using the PPSSH. Future school head ka, hindi ba? O kaya principal ka na, or OIC ka na ngayon, or head teacher in charge ka na, or TIC ka na ngayon. Assess mo yung sarili mo. Ano ba ang pulang po? Saan pa ako mahina? Saan pa ako pwedeng mag-improve? Where will be my prof where will be my areas for improvement? Kaya may developmental plan ka, di ba, sa OPCRF at sa IPCRF? Because that is your weakness. That is your um, opportunity for... That is your developmental opportunity na sinasabi. You see? Importante po ang, 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 ang domain 4. Because as school head, you can just stay 
that way. You have to improve, you have to progress. See this? Sabi ng Karis Teacher, reflect on the attainment of personal professional development goals and objectives based on the PPSH. Sabi sa 4.1.4, serve as a learning resource to fellow school heads in upgrading personal professional competence aligned with the PPSH. That's why, importante mag, mag, mag-pursue ka ng iyong masteral, ng iyong doctoral studies. That is, that, is, that is just one. But of course, there are others too. I do not just confine it there. You could go to um, webinars, you can go to trainings, workshops, conferences, no, seminars to develop yourself professionally. Okay, let's continue po. Strand 4.2, professional reflection and learning. Sabi ng career stage 2, apply professional reflection and learning to improve one's practice. May mga proof ba na magkapakita na you, you make professional reflection and learning? That could be in the school. Probably kung principal na po kayo or like us, we can already craft or create an instrument or tool to reflect our prof- to, to make professional reflection and learning. Kasi importante rin po ito na kailangan nakapagnilay-nilay ka at yung mga pagkatuto mo, where do I bring them? Or it just remain or stuck in my head. Baka ganun naman. Uh, it's not just that you know. Again, to do is more important than that. To affect and to affect would be more important than that. That you influence, that you, you tap other leaders and you develop other leaders. Remember this domain for you develop yourself and others too. Okay? Let's continue po mga kapatid. I hope you're still okay. I hope masaya po kayo dyan. You're enjoying at natututo po kayo kahit paano. Strand 4.3, professional networks. Seek to improve one's prof- practice as school leader through professional networks. May mga organizations ka ba? Professional organizations na makakatulong sa mga teachers mo para mas mag-improve pa lang ang competency nila or ikaw mismo as, as principal. Do you have linkages or professional network with fellow school heads or other organizations which can contribute to your professional upgrading and to your teacher's professional upgrading? Meron ka bang ganon? Tingnan mo rin yun. You also have to reflect on reflect on that. That is professional network. Di ba? Sabi ng career stage 3, engage actively in professional networks within and across schools to advance skills, knowledge, and practice. You can go beyond the, the region. You can go beyond the division. You can go beyond the Philippines. You can go internationally. And these networks will help at least upgrade you and it will also be it will also be passed to your teachers. Importante po yun. Or kaya naman, ikaw mismo, nagtayo ka na sa iyong, ng iyong sariling professional organization and then many have joined you and you now become uh, an, exemplify, an exemplary leader in your division or in your district. Ano? Ay, importante po yung professional network natin. Ano po? Let's continue mga kaibigan, mga kapatid. Sabi ng Strano, 4.4 performance management. Demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the implementation of the performance management system in improving school personal and office performance. Ito ang IPCR if teacher mo as, as your main as your main as your means of verification. Ang tanong, ilan sa mga teachers mo ang SUS or VS or outstanding? Satisfied ka na ba na ganyan? Again, sabi ko po sa inyo results based management tayo. Let's say isa kang school head TIs or head teachers na isang school. You have 25 teachers. Sa so school the last school year so 25 teachers mo, lima na outstanding. Gusto mo, lima outstanding ka pa rin ngayong school year na ito. Ha? Siyempre, hindi po, mga besh. Dapat kung five ka ngayon, dapat this school, five ka last year, dapat this school year, maparami mo pa ang mga teachers mo na, ma- na maging 10 or 50 or lahat. You manage their performance. You, you give technical assistance. You give technical, uh, yeah, yeah, you give technical assistance. You mentor, you coach them. Yung mga teachers natin para they perform better and better in every school year. That's part of human resource management sinasabi natin, no? So, minimum ito mo ini-evaluate kaya may major assessment type of school. Hindi po ba? At the end of the school year, doon ang final, ang, doon ang final rating natin sa mga teachers natin. So, their IPCRF with, so, with, with means of verification. So, very important po ang strand 4.4 management or performance management. Let's continue po. Strand 4.5, professional development of school personnel. Y- using the IPCR, ever using the ESAT, ito yung ESAT results na banggit ko ito kanina. Yung ESAT results nila, no? Meron doon silang mga level, ano yun? Um, level of develop, level for development, yung part na yun. Titingnan mo ngayon doon, saan sila medyo nangangailangan ng training. Yun kasi ang intervention mo sa mga teachers mo eh. Kung sa IPCR, ito, ito yung rating nila, Alin kasi sa mga IPC na sa medyo mahihina or medyo medyo na kailangan pa ng assistance based on ESET resource naman saan sila medyo na kailangan din ng assistance o tech, ng, ng training doon mo ngayon itatag ni yon yung professional development of school personnel doon mo sila tutulungan yung gusto mo sabihin technical assistant no mahina sa, sa part na to mahina siya sa 
gantong stra, sa gantong uh, domain stern or indigent, doon mo siya tulungan. Huwag mo siyang babayaan. No? At i-encourage mo sila mag-ara at mag-pursue ng kanilang professional studies. That they also go to their trainings, webinars, lahat siya. So professional level of school personnel. School personnel, sabi niya, ha, hindi lang mang yung teaching mo, pati yung teaching mo, tulungan mo na rin. Okay? Kung uh, ilan siya ng technical assistance, tulungan na rin po natin. So napigat, napakabigat po ng trabaho natin bilang mga principal sa mga encourage teach three monitor and evaluate the implementation of professional development initiatives enhancing strengths in addressing performance gaps among school personnel so yung mga training na yan yung mga insights yung mga lack sessions and nakakatulong po yan that will help them allow them let them so a school head look out po natin yung mga yan yung insights yung trainings workshops seminar conferences symposium lack sessions napakarami so let them and you as a school head must be on top of this strand. Okay? Let's continue po. Strand 4.6, leadership development in individuals and teams. Identify strengths, capabilities, potential of individuals and teams in performing leadership roles and responsibilities. Nako, self-assessment na naman po ito. Ne? Importante ito. Or in a way, do you have a teacher, do you, do you have a profile of your teacher? Alam ba ang mga talent ng mga teacher mo? Ano, alam mo ba kung ano mga kurso at MA na tinapos nila? O pinapursue nila? Ano mo kung ano special gift na meron sila? para ma-align mo ang kanilang leadership po, ang kanilang potential sa agabihin silang opportunity to, to lead to lead also no kasi nag, minsan nag-appoint tayo ng mga teachers sa ancillary positions baka naman hindi anchor or hindi tugma they, they, they must be aligned that's, that's the way to capacity and to empower your teachers you give them the opportunities but at the same time you also see to it that when they perform leadership roles and responsibilities hindi sila mahirap kasi alam mo na na swak na sakto, na tumpak, na tugma ang kanilang kanilang talento, ang kanilang qualification kung meron man para sa kanilang mga ancillary service o binigyan mo sila ng pagkakataon na mag-lead din po. Importante yan. That you give them the leadership development in individuals and teams. Nag-appoint ka ng grade level chairpersons dahil gusto mo lang. Mamaya naman hindi tugma. Baka naman medyo hindi siya pasok. Baka hindi, man, baka hindi pa ready yung tao para maging grade level chairperson dahil meron pa siya mga pangailangan there might be someone who could be better who could be who could perform well than this what you na na feel mo no titingnan po natin ang mga yan okay strand of 4.7 general welfare of human resources display knowledge of laws ah policies guidelines and instruments on the rights privileges benefits to school personnel to promote their general welfare naku alam mo ba ang mga to? Alam mo, alam mo ba ang mga nakata po public school teachers? Ah, binagibigay ka ba ng service credits bilang isang school head? O baka naman pinapag-report mo ng Sabado? Pinap binibigay mo ng maraming trabaho tapos wala ka man ng consideration? Do you abide by what the civil service rules uh, tell you? Importante po ang mga yan. Na yung benefits sa mga teachers natin, ibinibigay natin na naaayon sa batas. No? So implement mo dapat yung laws and policy guidelines and assurances on the rights, privilege of the teachers based on career stage 2. Kaya minsan, careful din, don't plan ako, uh, careful din sa pagkukumpute ng mga benefits ng mga teachers natin kung may monetary, kung may monetary involved dyan, no? Doon sa mga, um, sa P, kompletin sa PVP, o kung, of course, kung may maternity leave ang mga teachers natin, binibigay din natin ang mga yan. So as a school, dapat aware ka sa mga, sa mga ito kasi pag hindi, mag, you will have problems with this. So you have to see that as part of developing others no because they are a human being like you and they are all protected by the law because that is what the law requires you must give them the privilege uh, you must give them the benefits and the privilege under the law lahat yan marami-rami po yan no hindi lamang sa mga service credits as sinasabi ito hindi lamang sa mga bonuses na sinasabi natin oh pag bonuses ang lahat mumingiti at lahat na tutuwa di po ba nakakawala ng problema mm, i mean yan mag magde-deny <laughs> okay so dapat po Strand 4.7, klaro ang general welfare view of human resources as a future school head kamukha po ninyo or kung mayroon na kayong hinahandle na mga paaralan. Let's go with strand 4.8, rewards recognition mechanism. Ako, ako I like this. Reward recognition, they recognize learners, school person, other stakeholders, for example, performance and support. May recognition day ka ba? Eh, pandemic po ngayon. Kami, meron kami sa school namin recognition day for our senior high school students for first semester, binibigyan namin. At the same time, pag nasa classroom, yung mga pes, binibigyan namin pa rin ng mga certificate of appreciation or recognition man lang. 
sa ating mga performing students. Lalo ko na-meet naman nila yung sinasabi nung kung nakang 90 na yan, with honors na yan, uh, although at the end of the school, pero in-recognizing pa rin naman yung mga learners mo para ma-motivate naman. Not only your learners, but your teachers too. Bigyan mo ng motivation or encouragement ang mga teacher mo para mas ganado magtrabaho. Ako, ako po ha, my practice, I give recognition to my teachers who are able to submit their grades early. Sa school ko po ngayon, I give that law for every uh, for every department, for every subject. Kaya nagbibigay ako ng tatlong certificates of recognition. Doon sa first three na makakapag I bibigay ko ng token. Ang token ko po ngayon, eh, mga chocolates ang binili ko sa mga teachers ko. Reward system ko po yun. Importante yan, that you give a tap on the back of your teachers, of your person, of your learners. That's the way to develop your human resource. Huwag tayo masyadong matipid at maramot sa mga teachers natin at sa mga learners natin para lahat masaya magtrabaho, ganado magtrabaho. Tandaan po yung mga fellow school heads at future school heads, kapag ang mga teachers po natin ay ganado magtrabaho, motivated magtrabaho because they can see in you a caring leader, a caring school head, they would go for out for you and they will perform well because they are willing to work for you because they are motivated. They are not tired kahit nakakapagod because there is a leader, a school principal, a school head who, give them, who gives them records and recognition in the proper context. But I am not saying that doon ka lang magtrabaho dahil may rewards or recognition. But this is just a way to instill motivation for our teachers. Okay? Klaro po tayo doon. So there you have it po. Ang domains 3 and 4 po natin. Sana po klaro sa inyo yun. Naging malinaw. At sana po next time po mas marami pang manood, mas marami pang mag-share at maintindihan po niyo ang mga pinag-uusapan natin dito. So next time po, we would talk on domain number 5. At the same time, we will summarize PPSSH po. At the same time po, magbibigay po ako ng tool, yung answer sheet po ninyo for a mock test on Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. Yan po ang gagawin natin. O orasan po po kayo, sasabayin niyo ako habang kayo ay nanonood ng aking video. I'll give more instruction about that next time po. Pero I'll give a hint na 30 seconds lang po ang pagsagot sa bawat question na ibibigay ko sa inyo para mas ma-challenge kayo, para maipasa po ninyo ang ating nalalapit na principles test this year. So with that po, good day. Thank you so much for listening. God bless everyone. Thank you.